Yo, this is what's going on. You got to be ready for that shit. You got to be ready for, you know, what comes your way. Like, that's just... What up, y'all? It's your boy, Chance. Um, sorry about that, guys. Like, if you didn't... Like, if you guys heard me just now, I was sitting there, you know, doing a little freestyle on my head, just kind of going over ideas. But, uh... First off, I want to say congratulations to Adam Casey. If you guys don't know, I put him in an on-the-spot test out of nowhere to make sure that he can stand up to hate and, you know, being presented in the situations like what I presented him with. I did it out of nowhere because... You know, if you don't have that mentor that's tough on you, you know, like, you're not really going to get much anywhere because you're going to keep on making the same mistakes. And I wanted to keep him on his toes. I wanted to test him. So, no, Adam Casey was not screwing me over. It was a legitimate on-the-spot test to make sure that he holds up. Because I don't want him getting fucked over like I have been. I've been fucked over. I know what that's like. I've been there. And, you know, I had to learn on my own about, you know, what really happens in the music industry whenever artists come up to you out of nowhere and are like, oh, you know, like, you fucked me over. You did this. You did that. And in reality, you didn't. Like, I took that situation full force. and was like, yo, this motherfucker screwed me over. But Adam stood his ground in the best fucking way possible. He stood up and said, dude, I am paying you. Which you guys don't know, I am working with him on his album covers. So, shout out to Adam Casey, man. You fucking passed that test with flying colors, my dude. You did damn good by standing your ground, brother. Now, updates on the Blackout album. I just got the email that it will be released into stores on the 6th at midnight. So, on June 5th at midnight, which will then be June 6th, be ready for the album. It drops. It is going to be released. Be ready, y'all. Be fucking ready. That shit is going to pop off, man. Matter of fact, let's see if I can get into the email here. Oh, yeah, apparently I don't have Gmail downloaded. Oh, wait, do I have Gmail on this shit? Nope, don't have Gmail, but that's okay, though. But if you guys go look at the screenshot... I released a screenshot of the album and the email that I got for it. Um, I wanted to keep this album coming more or less simple. Like, it's, it's super simplistic. It's not too crazy. It's, you know, really good. Um, there's 10 tracks on the album. I don't know how much it's going to be. But as soon as I find out prices that night, I will let everybody know. But all in all, man, I just wanted to say congratulations to Adam for passing that on-the-spot test. You know, I drove him to the limit on that. And I did what I could. If you guys didn't notice, I was kind of hesitant. And what I said but that was because I was testing him. I didn't want to push it too far and make him hate me, even though it was a test. Um, I actually got tested a couple times the same way, and it sucked, but it made me the artist that I am. I know not a lot of artists care enough to do this for other artists, but you got to be ready for any situation at any given time. Whether it's somebody approaching you about being paid, whether it's about your music, um... 
And as I mentioned or may have mentioned previously in other live streams, is the only reason I don't share information about how I make my music or do videos of how I make it is because I know a lot of people, they like to copy my style. And if I reveal that, they'll start copying everything. And I'm not trying to have that. My sound is my sound. As listeners and as fans, it's your guys' job to listen to that sound. It's my job to keep that sound secret. I can't be having my secret weapon revealed to all these other artists because then that'll knock me down to the bottom. And I'm not trying to have the edge taken away from my sound. Like, I'm not trying to have that edge loss that I've got. Like, I got a good edge doing what I'm doing now, and I'm trying not to lose that. So that's why I don't talk about how I create my sounds and how I create my music. I mean, yeah, I might mention the sites where I make my music, but I don't reveal how I make them. Like the sites and stuff like that, that's fine. But I don't reveal my techniques or how I do it. Like the only people that I need to know are those that I work with on a daily basis, like Eric Scrublo and the inductor with AKA Bradley. Like, you know, those are the only ones that need to know because I work with those two every day. In one way or another, I always work with them every day. They know how I create my sounds. They know how I do what I do. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to hop off here. And I will probably wind up kicking it and chilling. Um, also, if you guys play any of these games right here, let me know. You guys can add me on all these games right here. Like, you guys can add me on all of them. Um, I don't know if Real Drift Racing has it to where you can do, you know, adding a friend. But I know games, like, aside from the Crazy Taxi games, um, I know WWE Champions has it. Um, all Guns Blazing, I'm on there all the time. If you guys ever played Mafia Wars, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like Mafia Wars meets Grand Theft Auto. But if you guys do play any games that you think I would get interested in, let me know. And yes, I do play Injustice 2. I just started playing it today. Oh my god, the new expansion, amazing. I love it. Um, I may do some gameplay on it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet on whether I want to do gameplay for that or not. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, thanks, y'all. I gotta hop off here, kick it, let the dog out, um, spend time with some of my family that I've not talked to in a long time on here, and I will catch you guys, my fans, my friends, everybody. I will catch y'all later on, man. Peace.